a part five, I think. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing um, evidence. So what evidence do we have of Big Cats in the UK that is actually usable, that is actually tangible? Well, we don't have enough evidence to say, yes, Big Cats are definitely here, because if we did, then it would be everywhere. People would know about it. It would be acknowledged by the scientific community, etc. Um <clears throat> So this video is sort of a build up to uh, a really good video that I'm that I'm planning on doing. Um so with Big Cats in the UK, we do have videos, we do have pictures, we do have uh footprints, paw prints, um scratchings on trees, scats, all allegedly, and all these pictures and videos are so most of them are pixelated, they're not really in focus, they're done on a, you know, the on a, a mobile phone where the zoom is the, the highest zoom, so everything's pixelated. Um, so my thought is, if a photographer or a wildlife photographer was in the same situation as a person who has allegedly um, witnessed a big cat in the UK, would this individual have a better chance of getting a better picture of the alleged big cat. Now obviously you would think well yes because they have a proper camera and lens like this. However when you are faced with something unknown you, init you have an initial what people describe as a freeze where you can't actually, your brain can't function rationally or properly for, for a good few seconds. So my my question is, if I was out and about with this and I saw what I, what I then to believed later on was a big cat in the UK, would have I got a picture of it in time? Would have my reflexes been quick enough? Now, obviously, I lean towards wildlife photography. So you'd think, well, yes, but when you're faced with something unknown that's mysterious that you're not quite sure what it is you could have the best photography equipment in the world would it make a difference would you still have that initial freeze and by the time you realize what's going on or what you're seeing you get your camera up and then by the time you do that it's gone the alleged big cat is gone so that is kind of like my what I want to do in the next video, I kind of want to do an experiment um, where obviously I don't expect to see any big cats um, because if you go out looking for something, you usually don't find it, um, especially when it comes to cryptid and mythical creatures. Or I don't really class big cats in the UK as a cryptid uh, because we do have those animals in the world. Uh, they're just not supposed to be here, apparently. Um, so... I want to see if I will test this out with normal wildlife. Now, I'm not going to go at this like a photographer. I'm going to go at it like literally just trying to capture something as quick as I can on on camera. Um, obviously, we're doing photography. I usually think of the lighting, the composition, um, the behave, animal behaviors, stuff like that. Um, well, with this, my, the idea is as soon as I hear or see something, I'm going to try and take a picture of it straight away. Um, so, uh, without worrying about all the photography, you know, the actual, the artistic side of it. Um, it's just about getting evidence as quick as, as quick as I can. And then what I'll do is I want to test the same thing out with my phone. And I want to compare the two to see if there is actually a difference between um, the DSLR picture and the the cam you know the phone camera picture um obviously yeah you uh, you know yes the dslr will be a better picture but it might not be it might not be that much of a difference if my reflexes are slow if i'm not quite sure what i'm hearing or what i'm looking at um and i think the same goes for when people actually see so you know alleged cryptid animals so this is an experiment i want to try in uh, in a video obviously i'm going to do this out out and about um i just wanted to let you know uh what my plans are for that video 
And while we're on the topic of evidence, um, like I said in the beginning, if we would have had 100% foolproof evidence so far, we wouldn't. It wouldn't be a discussion. It wouldn't be a topic of a uh, of interest. Other than wow, there's big cats in the UK. It's been confirmed. We don't have that yet. So, the, to be fair, this experiment doesn't really just relate to big cats in the UK. This could go for anything. Um, you know, if anyone comes across anything uh, different or unknown or something that the brain can't register, they will most likely have a freeze and they won't quite know what to do for the for a good few seconds. Um, but this, I'm going to relay this in with Big Cats in the UK, just because of how many pictures and videos there are that you can't quite make out if it is a cat or a big cat. They look like cats and they do look big, but there's no DNA, there's no uh, dead sharp crystal clear image that outlays its features, its hair, its build, etc. Um, so could... A photographer have a better chance of doing that if they did come across one of these alleged big cats. Um, I think we would be surprised um, if if it was announced that they officially were here and the population got bigger and bigger off big cats in the UK. Then I think it would be more possible. Um, you know, people that photograph big cats in big cats native countries. It is very difficult, even in countries they are, you know, they're known to live in. Um, so anyway, yeah, that that's something. That's a video I've got planned. Um, it's just a, it's a bit of an experiment. Um, it's a big cats in the UK video, but it could, you know, you could contribute it to any sort of unknown cryptid or animal uh, when it comes to trying to get evidence or photographic evidence of it. Um, so yeah. Um, this is just a really quick uh, Big Cats in the UK video. Um, if you have seen uh, any new pictures or videos uh, that do, you know, that do come across as uh, legitimate or um, that stand out from the rest, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and again, if you are into Big Cats in the UK or uh, cryptids like Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, um, Dinosaurs, obviously, the dinosaurs and mysteries. Dinosaurs are a big part of this channel. Um, and if you're into photography, please check out my videos and consider subscribing to this channel. Um, and please stay safe, everyone.